Well, James, a much needed win here at the Banksy Stadium today against Forest Green Rovers. Let's just get your overall thoughts on that 90 minutes. Um, yeah, like we knew we knew they were going to come here and have a lot of the ball. Uh, you know, and we had a game plan to sort of let, let them have it in certain areas. Um, a sort of uh, counter attack from there, you know, and we did from the first goal, you can see, and we had a few opportunities that maybe we were a bit wasteful with sometimes, but the game plan worked today, you know, and um, you know, it's tremendous to get the win, isn't it? And you got yourself on the score sheet after a bit of a scramble in the box. Let's just talk us through what was happening during that, that mad couple of minutes, really. Um, uh, in the first thing is, I think it volleyed up in the air. Uh, ball goes wide, comes back in, I think I get launched onto the deck again. Uh, and then just got up and the ball was just there for me. So uh, I had to swing a left foot on it and just see what happened. But luckily, like, got a half decent connection and it went in. Like. And it's one of them where everybody's really needed to, to, needed to chip in in that end of the of the pitch, really. And it must just be nice for you to, to have hit the back of the net. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, like, you can see from the celebration what it meant to everyone. Like, I think everyone was down there sliding around. So. Um, but no, like yeah, it's a, ma it's a massive boost, you know. It's first win, and you know, with with gains how they've gone, like I, you know, sort of we haven't really done the gaffer justice, really. Like as players, I think we've let him down quite a bit since he's come in, and you know, and that obviously, you know, that wins for him really because I feel he's put a lot of faith in a lot of us, and sort of, and the younger lads and the senior lads, and you know, it's time we uh, repaid him really. And you mentioned there that that wins for for Brian Dutton, but as well as really boosting him, it was clear to see just how happy he was with the three points. What does that then do for the dressing room? Is it almost like a, a monkey off the back for you, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, obviously because you know we haven't won in uh, some time, but but it, it was it was coming. Like I know people might not agree, but like the Harrogate game, like we should win that. Um, other games before then not going back quite a while now but there's games that we should win which when we haven't and we haven't done um but yeah like like it is it is a massive it is a massive like weight off your shoulders i guess but like you know we, we're just happy to get especially at home to get one done at home like and we we've gone to other other games like the orient game weren't much in it really probably dominated the game really like and you know they're a team flying and like today like forest green they might have a few injuries but they're flying they're up top top half looking to get promoted didn't they so you know like I th it's about time that we uh, sort of turn the performance into a result really and that's what it's been the performances have really been there in the, the last couple of games really but the points probably haven't reflected what the team deserve on the pitch because there have been much improved performances especially at the back yeah yeah definitely yeah uh, oh, yeah we've been it for injury haven't we um, you know for fortunately I was able to come back in as, as Scarzi got injured um, so yeah, it's been quite makeshift in that respect there, and obviously Leakey's come in and been fantastic. Um, so so yeah, like you know, everyone's got their hard luck stories, you know. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna paint a picture of ours being a hard luck story, you know. Um, Gaffer come in, we had some some tough games and some must win games, and things go against us and things. But like you know, put the excuses aside, you know, it's eleven v eleven out there, isn't it? So. Um, you know, and I think the performances are now, hope, I'm hoping to sort of turn into results. And from the Barrow game really here on that Friday night, that was, you know, a disappointing defeat. The team have really reacted to the manager's call to to really show what, what this team is worth. And they, they are doing that now, do you feel? Yeah, yeah. Like, let's, let's be honest, like, that was rock bottom, really. Uh, sucker punch last minute sort of thing. Um, so, yeah, you know, the boys that dug, uh, dig deep to get themselves off the floor, you know, after that game, and uh, it, it, you know, it's, it's one of them. Like, it's one of them. It sort of like rejuvenates you a little bit, I guess. After, like, it's one of them. Could it get any worse? Type thing, really. Um, and the performances turn around from there, really. And perform, we perform. You can't always guarantee result. You can guarantee the performance as we've seen, but um, but no, thankfully, like, we're able to turn one of them to a result. And this team have now shown that they can do it at, at both ends of the pitch, really. You know, you go 2 0 up and you show attacking, uh, you know, free flow at, at times, especially in the Harriet game and, and here today against Forest Green. But you've also shown that you can be defensively resilient as well. Yeah, like, don't get me wrong, we've been, we've been very disappointed with the way they scored. Um, that's when, something we pride ourselves on, us defensive set plays. Um, so, yeah, we'd be disappointed with that. But, yeah, like. Um, I think people are understanding their roles more 
and understanding games like you see like we've had a few yellows from time wasted and that and there's things you've got to do it's the now of the game it's being street smart and obviously we've got young lads and the quicker they can get that into the games like they are now you know you reap the rewards from it you mentioned about the young lads there you know Sam Perry again has been superb Tom Leake throwing him when his back's against the wall they've really stood up and been counted for really haven't they oh definitely like yeah especially Tom Leake's come in he's coming let's be honest he's coming at a uh, a must win always a, a must lo not lose game at uh, South End you know it's a big game to come into for a young lad like um, goes one way or the other for them uh, in this game unfortunately but uh, yeah he was outstanding then and um, he can come in and shore it up he can you know he's a great lad uh, very good round the dressing room <laughs> model pro for his age you know and uh, I think he sticks with it like you know there's no telling where he'll end up you know so uh, he's been fantastic enough yeah, you know, I can't. I can't say. I can't talk up Sam Perry anymore. You know, like I don't want to. So I'm going to get big headed. But he's been, he's been absolutely outstanding in a, in a. I wouldn't say struggle inside, but a, a team where we weren't getting things going our way when we had a difficult period as well. He was like the bright spark really that kept kept us optimistic as well. And now, I feel like the boys have stepped up to the mark with him. You know, he's he's dragged us along really.